Hi everybody, Phil London here. This is a mini ball workout. You can buy this at the grocery store or at your local drugstore. It should be less than $2. So nice, inexpensive workout. Let's get started. We'll start with breathing. Sit up really tall, arms turn side. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, curl, flex the spine over. We'll start with protraction and retraction. You're going to inhale, protract the scapula. You're going to exhale, retract the scapula. Protraction feels like you're grabbing something ahead of you. Inhale, protract the scapula and reach. Exhale, retract, gently squeeze between the shoulder blades. We'll do two more. Inhale, protract the scapula. Exhale, retract. Inhale, protract the scapula. Exhale, retract the scapula. Stay here, inhale. On an exhale, really tightly connect in the abdominals. Draw in and upward on the abs. Inhale. Exhale, weave the ribs and lightly drop on the pelvic floor. We'll do one more. Inhale. On an exhale, articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. Inhale, you'll stay here. Exhale, go ahead and roll your spine down to your mat. Once here, ball goes between your knees. Scoot down so that your butt and heels are a little bit bigger than a ruler's length away. We'll do your hip rolls. Inhale, you'll prepare. Exhale, you'll roll through an imprint. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips. Squeeze the ball gently between your inner thighs. Inhale, exhale, roll back down through each articulation of the spine all the way through to your neutral pelvis. Make sure your abs stay nice and connected. We'll do three more here. Hip rolls. Roll through an imprint. Squeeze your glutes. Roll your hips off the mat into your bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back down through each articulation of the spine. Do it again. Roll through an imprint. Squeeze your glutes. Roll your hips off the mat into your bridge. Inhale. And exhale. Roll slowly back down through each articulation of the spine. Taking your time when your spine is tight. Go a little slower around those segments. Roll through an imprint. Squeeze your glutes. Roll your hips off the mat. Abdominals still stay connected. Inhale and exhale. Roll the spine down through each articulation of the spine all the way to your neutral pelvis. From here, grab that ball. Straighten out your legs. We'll do a roll up as a transition. Start with your arms by your ears. Inhale, bring your arms to your chest tight. Exhale, press through your heels as you roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, stay here, pull the abdomen in, and exhale, articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. We'll do some half rollbacks with the ball between your knees. Squeeze the ball gently between your inner thighs. Sit up really tall to start. On an inhale, prepare on an exhale, roll your low back down towards the mat. Okay, you'll be rolling your hip bones away from your leg bones here. Inhale. Exhale, roll back up, round it and reach. And again, roll back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, roll back up. And prepare to roll down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, roll back up. Inhale, prepare. Exhale to roll back. Inhale. Exhale, roll back up. Gently squeeze the ball between the thighs. And exhale, roll back. Inhale, stay. And exhale, roll up. Articulate that seated spine up nice and tall. So we're going to come into a little balance here. We're going to point the toes, keep the knees slightly bent. You're going to balance and bring the ball behind you and in front of you. Behind you and in front of you. We're going to do two rolls backs. Roll back, roll up, hold balance. Roll back, roll up, hold balance. Again, two pumps behind and in front. Behind and in front. Roll back, roll up. One more, roll back, roll up. Behind and in front. Behind and in front. Roll back, roll up. Roll back, roll up. We'll do one more round here. Behind and in front. Behind and in front. Roll back. Roll up. Roll back. 
roll up, hold in balance, and then straighten out the legs out in front of you and reach. Take a nice big inhale here and exhale, articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. So now we'll start the next section. Your ball is going to go behind your scapula here. A lot of people put it too low in their low back. We want to have it up here. So we want to gently lean back on the ball. You can also wiggle around to find a comfortable spot here. But you want to make sure that you're not resting on the ball. If you could tell the difference, here's resting on the ball. Now I'm going to pick myself away from the ball, pick myself up away from the ball. Abs stay nice and tight here, okay? The hands are going to go behind the head. We're going to do basic flexion. Curl up, exhale. Inhale, lower. Curl up, exhale. Lower. You can see the abs shaking. Try to press through the inner part of the feet. Make sure you're not rolling out or rolling in, okay? Your knees are hip width distance apart. Exhale, flex. And return. Exhale, flex. And return. Four more now. Exhale, flex. And return. Exhale, flex and return. Two more, exhale, flex, and return. Really working on holding my abs in as I flex and return. Oblique twist is next. Twist to the right, you can go ahead and move the ball a little bit. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the left. I'm gonna do the first four, moving the ball. Twist, center, twist, center. Again, I'm not leaning on the ball. And if the ball gets away from you, just pull it in a little bit. Continue to twist, center, twist, center. Exhale, twist, center, exhale, twist. So I was moving the ball for the first four. Now for the next four, I'm just gonna move my torso and keep the ball really still behind me. Exhale, see how my movement changed? It's a lot smaller. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. So we're doing about eight reps of all these. And I did four while I moved the ball and four while I kept the ball pretty still behind me. Coming back to center, anytime you need a break, just hug your knees into the chest. That way you don't have to roll up, but you could roll up if you needed to. Otherwise, we hug those knees into the chest, take a quick little break. And then we're going to start with our toe tap. So the hands are going to go behind the head, again, not resting on the ball or picked up off the ball. I'm going to lift my left leg into tabletop. Inhale, prepare. On an exhale, stay nice and stable in my obliques. I'm going to tap my left leg down. And lift. And again, tap it. Draw it back up. What I'm not doing is bending at my knee. Okay? I'm tapping from my hip. I'm lengthening my hip flexor and drawing it back up. Lengthening the hip flexor and drawing back up. I like about four of those on each side. So we'll put that foot down. You also want to avoid leaning when you're tapping. Okay? So you want to stay nice and centered. So when I pick up this leg, I shouldn't shift over to the left. Watch those things. Okay? So I'm going to pick up this leg and I'm going to stay right in center. I'm going to tighten my abs to do that. I'm going to tap down and up. And tap down and up. Two more. Remember, we're not bending the knee and tapping down. We're keeping that knee nice and stable like you have a knee brace on it. And you can only move from the hip. And left. You can feel this in the abs. Foot, go down. Foot goes down. Four times each side. Now we'll do some extension over the ball. When you extend over the ball, don't just lean and fall over the ball. What I want you to do is feel like you lift up and over the ball and exhale, curl, flex. Up and over the ball and exhale, curl and flex. Up and over the ball and exhale, curl and flex. Again, if you need to wiggle around for a better position, go ahead. Up and over the ball, inhale and exhale to flex. Up and over the ball. Exhale to flex. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two 
two more. Inhale. Watch this. I'm not going with the chin that way. Keeping my chin curled in. C curl. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. For a quick break, we'll just give you one. You'll need one. Hug your knees into your chest. Hold. You can just pull the knees in towards you. Then we'll return when we're ready. You only need about five second break. We're going to do four on each side. Extension over the ball. Lift up and over the ball. Exhale, curl, flex. Lift one leg. Inhale to lower back down. Exhale, curl, flex. Lift. Inhale to lower. Three more now. Remember that cue that you're stretching up and over the ball. Inhale, up and over the ball. Exhale, curl. Again. And curl. This is great for stability using your one leg variation. Up and over the ball. It's getting harder to go up and over the ball. One more time. Stretch over. Exhale, curl. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Up and over the ball. And return, hug those knees into the chest. Bringing those legs into tabletop now here. And we'll do your oblique twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Twist. And twist. Again. Lots of stability. Hug those knees into the chest. We're going to do four more. These really fire the abdominals. So we're ready for four more. Twist. And twist. Two more. Very tough. One more. That last one was tough. Hug those knees into the chest and roll up. And the next one will be on the floor. Ball between the ankles. Head can be down if you have any neck issues and you want to keep your head down, that's fine. Inhale, you prepare. Exhale, you press your legs out on a diagonal. Inhale, draw back in. Another option is in curled flexion, which I prefer. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, draw in. Another option is hands behind the head. So you can choose which one. I'll go through them again. Head down. Exhale, press out. Curled in flexion. Or hands behind the head for one more. Hug those knees in. Whew. Once again, pretty intense. So next, we're going to put the ball underneath the knees, underneath the back of the knees, and we'll get comfortable. Next exercise, we're going to put the ball underneath the knees, hands down by your sides. Inhale, draw in, exhale, roll up, and then return. Inhale, draw your knees towards you, exhale, roll up. You can use the exhale to roll all the way back down again. Inhale, draw in, exhale, roll up. Inhale, return. Again, exhale, roll up. So I'm going to give a couple of variations. You could do the next four with the ball between your ankles, or you could do all eight with them under the thigh, or all eight with them here. I can lift higher when the ball is here. So if you want to roll up all the way, just make sure you're pulling those abs in, okay? Okay. 
can feel these two. And we'll just do one more here. We may have done a few more, but I really liked the ones with the ball between the ankle, but you can do either. So now one-legged bridge with the ball between the thigh with a leg extension, which is similar to your intermediate back. So now one-legged bridge with the ball between the knees, which is similar to your one-legged bridge in a mat class. So we will squeeze the glutes and lift the hips, straighten out the right leg, keep it long and lean, lower the hips down, exhale, press up for eight. Inhale, lower. So press up for seven. Lower. Exhale, six. Lower. Squeeze the ball each time. Avoid fists in the wrist. Keep those arms nice and long. Two more. Now we're gonna lower that foot down. If you want an, uh, an advanced version, you can keep your hips up the whole time and then just switch the legs. Switch, lower the hips, lift the hips. Lower, lift. Exhale when you lift with the exertion. Squeeze the ball. Two more. So if you want to keep those hips up, place that foot back down, toe ball, heel, squeeze the glutes. And if you want an added challenge, reach your arms up to the ceiling and roll your spine articulating away from your fingertips. All the way through neutral. Use one leg to roll you up. So now we're going to start the extension exercises lying on the belly. So you want to lie down on your stomach. Legs will be open. Make sure you have leg room. So we'll lengthen the ball. Put the heel of the hand on the top of the ball. Turn out the legs. Make sure you fire the glutes here. On an inhale, you're going to come up with extension. On an exhale, lower it back down. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, lengthen it back down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure you're firing the glutes there. You can always limit your range of motion if your back is hurting from going up too high. The next four are going to have a little arm movement. Inhale, maybe start the hands a little further down. Maybe you start the hands a little bit further on the ball for this next piece. You're going to inhale, prepare, and come up for extension. Inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, pull the ball towards you. Exhale, press it away. Maintain your height of extension. Inhale, pull in, and exhale, press it away. Inhale, pull in, and exhale, press it away. Inhale, pull in, and exhale, press it away. Inhale, stay, and exhale, lower it back down. Inhale, lift, exhale, pull, inhale, lengthen, lower back down. So we're doing what's called one in one, one of each. Inhale, draw up, exhale, pull, inhale, press, and lower back down. Two more. Inhale, draw up for extension, pull the elbows in, exhale, press it away, and inhale, lower back down. Last one. So in between each exercise for extension, we'll sit back into a shell stretch, rounded shape. And then we'll articulate the seated spine up nice and tall, and we'll roll back down again. So anytime you need a back stretch, you could do one with me, and I'll do one every few exercises. But if you don't need one, you can continue on, especially if you can remember the routine, you can omit some of the stretches. So we'll inhale, prepare. We'll exhale, lift the legs. Keep them laterally rotated. I like that for feeling in your glutes. And then lower back down and exhale, lift. 
Lower back down. So you're using stability through your arms. Exhale. So I feel my lats and my triceps. Make sure not to draw your shoulders up to your ears. Draw them down. And exhale, lift. And exhale, lift. Again, four more, so we do eight. Make sure you're not bending your knees when you come up, like you're not lifting from your knees. You're keeping your legs nice and straight. You're really lifting from your glutes, okay? Then stay up in your lift. You can stay laterally rotated, or you could work in parallel if you wanted to. I'm gonna draw my legs to parallel. I'm gonna bring up a parallel, which means they're like railroad tracks, and I'm gonna do my swimming. So stay here. If your back is hurting, rest your upper body down. And if it's not, then you can stay in a bit of extension. And we'll swim. Again, we're watching that the ball's not moving around. You know, we're keeping the ball nice and stable. So now we're gonna do some pulses open. And now some pulses closed. We call these beats. I'm still in parallel, but you could work in lateral if you wanted to. Abs, stay nice and tight. Let's do one more set. Open the legs, hip width distance apart, and we swim. One, two, three, four, it's five and six and seven and eight, and open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and close. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and rest. Lower back down. We'll go into a shell stretch and we'll use the ball. And we'll roll it over. And over. Back to center. And articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. So we'll do some side lying now. We're going to take the bottom leg and straighten it down right below the bottom hip. Top leg goes on top of the ball. Bent knee. Head is down. Bottom ribs are lifted. We inhale, prepare. We exhale, lift the bottom leg and gently press down on the ball. Now the kickstand hand is for beginners and if you wanna just use no stability other than the ball in your core, you just have your hand here on the top of the thigh. Exhale, bottom leg lifts, top leg presses. We do it again. Exhale, so I, I don't know if you can tell, I release the ball, then I press down on the ball with my top leg. So watch for things like our bottom leg going forward. Make sure it's going straight up. Lower back down, and exhale, we lift. Lower back down, and exhale, we lift. Lower back down, and exhale, we lift. Lower back down, exhale, we lift. Lower back down, exhale, we lift. I was just checking to make sure my leg looks like it's straight down below my my own right glute, and it looked like it was. Exhale, if it's hard, I don't have a mirror here. And left, and then lower back down, okay? We'll do the other side. A couple things when you do your side lying positions, make sure that you don't look like you've just rested onto a pillow. You don't wanna look comfortable here. You wanna keep your elbow up nice and long, pointing in the opposite direction from your bottom foot. This leg is bent. I like a right angle. Don't curl the heel in. Don't rest the leg down on the floor. Lift it and have it balanced. And then here's your top arm. And then we exhale, lift the bottom leg. And lower back down. A gentle press as you exhale, lift. And lower back down. So as you can see, this lower arm becomes a pillow for my neck to be in line with my spine that runs down parallel to the ground. Okay, sometimes the head's too low when it's here. Continue doing your reps. We've got four more. So I like the pillow so that my head stays up. Exhale. And those ribs. Bottom ribs are lifted. You should be able to see underneath my side ribs the whole time. Last one. And then rest. Beautiful. So we'll take that out. We can come back up side position. We're going to switch to the other side. So we're going to put the ball in between the feet here. You're going to be in a side bridge position. We're going to clamp the legs open and back down. Now you can rest your bottom leg down on the ground and lightly press it into the floor. Or you can lift both legs up and do it that way. I like them both. 
So maybe every other workout, put the leg down and press it into the floor. Every other workout, keep the bottom leg lifted. It's just a little different feel. I think stability-wise, it's hard to keep the bottom leg up, but I actually feel my thigh muscle better when I keep it down on the floor and I press away, almost like a reverse thigh master. Okay, again, kickstand hand. Could be down on the thigh. I like it here. One more. Do a lot of these. These are, these are great. <laughs> They're really good. I like them. So maybe 8 to 12. Okay, I feel inner and outer thigh. It's amazing. And I feel oblique. I'll show something on this side. Watch that. You're not slouching. Like, it shouldn't look like you're sitting and watching TV. Although, you are watching me on TV. You're watching YouTube and possibly maybe watching it on your television. I want you to think about lifting up on the side ribs. So if you don't know me, you might not be laughing at those jokes, but if you know me, you're laughing right now. So open and close. I'm gonna do like some variations with it down on the ground. I'm gonna do some variations with the leg lifted, okay? Remember, we're not like slouching around. We're not chewing gum, hanging out. We're really focusing on what our body's doing. We're focusing on how to use our body correctly. I was asked recently in a interview, why is my program different? Why is it better than other programs? So some programs might be great and it might not be better than every program out there. But for the, my clientele and the people I want to target and my particular body, it's different because it's not about how many calories I'm burning, it's about how I'm using my body properly. I was just telling my clients I was doing a ton of driving this weekend and I had sciatica and I, I never usually have anything, any kind of pain. I had pain running down by the back of my leg and it was really painful to drive. All these exercises are going to help strengthen those muscles that will hopefully the next time keep me from getting sciatica when I'm driving. So I did lift my lower leg. It's a little harder to lift my lower leg on this, but again, I'm doing more reps on this while I tell you my story. If Melissa was here, she'd be telling me what number I'm on. Melissa will appreciate that and then come back to center. So do about 8 to 12 of those. Do as many as you can. I love them, so I just found them recently. So do as many as you can of those. We're going to be in the same position. This time, these are brand new by the way. This time you're going to be curling the ball behind the thigh. This leg can be straight and you're going to bring this leg in front. Inhale and exhale. Bring it behind you. Now, a modification would be a bottom bend knee, and that's totally fine. I'm going to do a few. I'm going to let you know because I just saw this exercise for the first time, and I don't even know which one I like better. I like the bent knee. It's very nice. Inhale, draw it in. But, it, like, I'm not rotating and leaning. See, see, look up. All right. So I'm forward and then back. Okay? And then again, forward and back. So I wish I could just make videos and not speak about uh, how your alignment, but I can't. Uh, alignment is huge. It's very important. So I think I like the knee bend, but it's up to you here. Really extend that leg back. If you sit all day, this is a fabulous exercise for you because you're using your obliques and you're stretching out your hip flexor and you're bringing that leg in front, using those abs and behind. And you're bringing your leg in front and then behind. I'm also not changing the height of my leg. It's not going up. It's staying at the same lateral position. So you are doing a lot more of these, but that's because they're new. And also, you'll love them. You will love them. Squeezing lightly behind, so I can tell you about the exercise, so you can make sure you're focusing on the right uh, movements. I think I'll add in another exercise, too, after that. So let's try the other side. We'll do about 12 on the other side. But if you do as many as I do, I do like my leg bent, but you can keep that bottom leg straight, okay? I like bent, inhale, and exhale. Really bring it behind, I'm a little tighter on this hip flexor. Inhale, leg in front, and exhale. And again, in front, and exhale. Now I'm doing this video first, and then next I'm gonna film seven minutes in heaven. And so this will be a really great core warm up. My core will feel really connected in my cardio strength video. That's coming up next which is really not cardio. It's really strength movements that get your heart rate up. Have it nice and tight. This side's harder for me to even hold the bottom. I'm just gonna reposition, we're gonna do four more. Leg in front, and exhale. I'm having trouble holding onto the ball on this side. Aha, uh -huh. this was my sciatic leg. 
Okay, so it might be weaker. It also was my driving leg. Just make sure when you're doing this, you're not flexed forward with both knees. Okay, you have this leg down and either straight, like I said, or bent. Two more. Might have done. We'll do one more. Love, love, love these, love these, love these. Okay, so it gave me the idea to do also the pretzel. So I just threw that in. It's not on my chart, but I'm going to give you the pretzel. So your arms are going to come over to the outside of your front mermaid thigh. We're going to lift that back leg up, gently squeeze the ball, and then lower it back down. And exhale, lift, and lower it again. What you want to avoid is leaning a ton, okay? Lift, and back down. Exhale, lift, and back down. You can feel these. You will. Four more. So I really love this new leg series. You will love it. I am sure you're going to be doing this video and tweeting about it and also writing on my Facebook that you did it or maybe texting me saying I didn't get to the gym but I did your flex ball video. Let's try the other side. So that's your pretzel. Make sure you can tell that I'm not like leaning over as I lift my leg. Do you see I'm not teeter-tottering here? Keeping up. This side's harder. This was the sciatic leg again. Inhale, exhale, lift. For those of you who do know me, I usually have no injuries. Exhale, lift. It's very rare. I believe it's how I work out and how much rest to give my body and eating well. And exhale, lift that leg. And exhale, I'm just trying to hover the leg off the ground. But I do have some muscle imbalances that if I don't work on, I can feel some pain sometimes. And lower back down. It's very treatable. But I can tell this side is much harder for me to lift on. Do two more here. So you want to do about eight. I'm doing the best I can with teaching you, doing the workout, and also counting how many we've done. Exhale. Again. Where's Melissa when I need her? And lower back down. Melissa comes to all my classes and she counts. And she tells me how many more I have when I'm telling people how to use their body. So we're going to transition again onto the floor. Onto your belly. We're going to put the ball between the ankles. Might take a few times of practice to try that. So a couple variations as your upper body's down. You squeeze the ball. Squeeze the glutes. And elevate the knees. And lower back down, and exhale, squeeze. Exhale. And exhale. You can really feel these. I can really feel these after what I just had you work on. So I really like that we did all that side-lying hamstring work, and then we came onto the belly. So I like this sequence a lot. We'll do two more now. I wasn't just paying attention to my feet, but pay attention to them. I did just point them both or flex them. I think I had one flex, one pointed. I wasn't thinking about that. It takes a lot to have your mind connected to every muscle and bone in your body while you're working out, but that's the goal. But um, I did take note of that towards the end of that, okay? So the next exercise, you can do the same variation with your legs but in an extended position. I'm only going to do four. I'll tell you in a minute. Three. I was taught this and it's great if you don't get tight in your low back, but I tend to get tight in my low back. So for me, I feel a lot of low back here. So I prefer to do my glute squeeze down. Okay. But if you tend to not be tight in your low back, you can do it up in your modified cobra position. Okay, let's straighten out those legs. Just straighten out the arms and stretch. So we'll press yourself back. Grab the ball. Sit back into a shell. We're going to flex over the ball. On an inhale, we're going to come up for extension. On an exhale, you're going to reach your arms out in front of you. Inhale. Swim your arms wide into the sides. And exhale, bend the elbows, dive forward. Inhale, extend. 
exhale, dive forward, inhale, extend. What's really cool is you can feel your ribs tighten against the ball. Exhale, right there, you want to tighten the rib cage. Inhale, swim. Exhale. Inhale, swim. Exhale. Make sure that you're doing this. Head dropping down, arms going out. You're keeping your head above your arms and you're thinking about swimming into the water. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Nice opening exercise, nice back exercise. I'm going to add this and I used to add this in my Pilates mat classes. Palms turned up, staying right here. Press up, little tricep presses. Call it the reverse hundred. And release. Bend the elbows and rest over the ball. Sitting back into a shell stretch again. Rolling out of it. And some hamstring work, which we were doing already, but we'll do a little bit more. Here the feet will go on top of the ball. If you cramp in your hamstring, you could do this without the ball. We're going to do an inhale to prepare and exhale to lift and lower. Exhale to lift, lower. Exhale to lift, exhale to lift. Now we're going to stay here. You're going to pull the ball in four times. Lower back down. Exhale lift, and we'll pull it in. Lower back down. Exhale lift. Pull. Lower back down. One more. Exhale lift. And pull. And lower back down. If you want, you can straighten out your legs and we can do a roll up. It's going to be hard though. Your ball is going to be underneath your heels. You're going to reach your arms. You're going to not curl flex. You're going to roll up. Now, if your legs start to lift, you're going to slide off the ball. Okay, you saw that happen. Um, so if your legs lift up, you're going to slide. Or you might just slide to one side or to the other just because. Um, so what I want to cue here, not curl flex. Find that spot. And then articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. Reach the arms up. Exhale, roll. We're on the home stretch. We only have a few more exercises. I'm going to have you do these two more times now. Make sure you're pulling those abs in. Articulate the seated spine up nice and tall, and then return. Um, we'll do a couple of little, um, they are modified teasers. We'll roll down, legs up, home stretch. Roll up, lift up, roll down. Three more. We're going to stay with your arms here. We're just going to do a little twist, a little twist, a little twist, a little twist. These are my add-ons. I do these a lot with the um, big ball, the resistible ball in the studio. Just adding it in. Might as well work here. And then just after that exercise, a spine stretch forward with your legs open will feel really nice. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, go ahead and flex over. Inhale, articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. Exhale, flex over. Inhale, my hamstrings feel tight, so I'm not flexing over very much, but you can go ahead and flex over. I'm going to bring my legs a little bit more narrow. You can flex over as much as you can. Abs in, flex over. Definitely getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings. And 
and then draw back up. Notice we're doing a little bit more stretching towards the end of the routine. Um, a few more exercises, tricep push-ups off the ball. So you bring your hands to the side of the ball, okay, and you're going to grip it a little bit. You want to keep it neutral, so if you try to put your hands on the top of the ball, you're just going to flex at your wrist too much, and it's going to be painful. It's not going to feel good. If it doesn't feel good with the ball, then absolutely get rid of it. Just do tricep push-ups off the floor. We're going to inhale, lower down, three, two, one. Exhale, press up. These are actually really hard. You won't see me have a lot of range of motion because I haven't tried them until right now, and they're pretty hard. Inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, press up. We're lowering down, throat slow on three. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, press. I'm not letting my head fall down. I feel like I'm going to pop the ball, but if you, <laughs> so far so good. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, press. A couple more. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, press. Let's do four reps single. Two more. You really feel your triceps. One more. That last one was tough. Back into a shell. A lot of it. You're going to lift your hips. I'm going to put it underneath your low back. I'm going to find a comfortable spot. If you wanted to just do a couple imprints and releases, that feels nice on your low back. Otherwise, I'm going to bring your legs into tabletop. I'm going to balance here. So we can start with just a scissor, just so you get the idea. Straighten the legs. And we inhale, exhale, scissor. Inhale, exhale, scissor. Inhale, exhale, scissor. And exhale, scissor. So super stability-based exercise. And it will definitely stretch out your hip flexors if they're tight from sitting all day. Okay, so now we're going to bend the back leg, the bottom leg, bend it. You're going to draw it in, and they'll switch. And then that one bends, that one straightens. Called riding a bike. I definitely have to focus on this. This one's not going to look perfect. I have to keep this leg straight. Let this one bend. Let this one go straight. Usually if I'm with a client, I'll tap which one I want to straighten. And then they can just kind of follow along. But it's definitely tough. I may not demo it. But this is really hard. Stability-wise, coordination-wise, I'm like thinking about it. If you feel any clicking or popping in your pelvis, you can't lower the leg any lower. You have to stop the leg sooner, draw it in, extend it. So I feel a little click, so I'm gonna just not, I'm not going to the floor anymore, because when I went to the floor, I felt a click. Um, and I think it's the hip flexor, the tendon may be moving over the bone. So keep that leg up. I'll do two more, not lowering my leg down as low. See, so bend, lengthen. I don't feel that movement anymore. I don't feel that tendon over the bow. And let's hug the knees into the chest because that's really hard on your low back too. Um, if you feel the clicking and the popping, lift the hips, take the ball out, roll the spine down then you're really just probably moving tendons over the bone and it's just not gonna feel comfortable. Let's do another transition roll up. Not a curl flex, roll up. And then articulate the seated spine up nice and tall. Um, just remember, I call a lot of the Pilates stuff that I do Pilates. Um, I take exercises that I've learned from all different disciplines and I put them together. So they may look like an exercise from a branded company, but they're my version of them, and so that's why I make my own videos with them. Should drop it back up. And then we'll switch sides. And forth. Just feels really nice to do the rotation. The stretch. Two more. One more. 
back to center. Roll it back in. You're in your mermaid position. Slight bend. And out of it. And we'll do a two with rotation. One with just your side bend, then two with rotation. You could do more if you want, in any variation you want. Two more. Add the rotation. And thanks for joining me for your mini ball workout and I'll see you soon.